Brennan, uh, Coach Rolo um, talked a little bit uh, about uh, a pregame atmosphere uh, uh, in amongst your team that maybe didn't feel right to him. It wasn't exactly right. Did you kind of sense something like that before the game that that uh, the the the, uh, the mindset wasn't perfect? Uh, I mean, I would just say that uh, you know, coming into every game, you got to be prepared. You got to be locked in. Uh, I would say that a couple. Um, moments where I think we lost focus and that's on us. We got to stay more prepared, you know, mentally, because football, as much as it is physical, it's mental. So I could see definitely some parts, Coach Will was talking about, we weren't locked in mentally. And, you know, um, as leaders in the team, we got to kind of, you know, nip that in the bud. We need to start being more uh, vocal about it. You know, guys need to be locked in for a game like this. And, uh, you know, I, I can see where he's coming from. And I think we're going to get it corrected this next week. The, uh, the defense it looked to me like you made great strides in the second half. Uh, from a technical standpoint, what was going on in the first half? Yeah, I get credit to the opponent. You know, they're a good scheme. You know, they make great plays here and there. Uh, you know, we just got to come out swinging faster. You know, we can't get punched in the mouth like that. Um, you know, you know, I credit to that second half. You know, we played really good. You know, we're making plays. We just got to start like that. It's got to be all four quarters. You know, uh, coach always says you don't you don't tally wins by quarter or by halves or quarters. It's got to be a four quarter game. So, uh, you know, definitely a little sloppy in the first half, but you know, things we can all get corrected. You've been uh, you've been going through a bunch of guys on the D line, uh, but uh, I guess maybe that's what coaches anticipated might happen. Uh, what, what was what was what? How would you describe what's happening right now in terms of just running through all those guys? I mean, I don't I don't want to just say you know one game is you know defines us. You know, I think there's some things we can clean up. You know, the guys who are rotating stepped up. They make great plays. You know, they're all developing, have great potential. You know, I, I think just, you know, one game, you can't wait to find a team. You know, I have faith in my brothers that we're going to bounce back, um, you know. And like I said, we just got to fix the culture and we're going to be good. Hey, Brandon, you, you guys obviously scored right before the half, but what was the message in the locker room after, after the, after the uh, second quarter ended there? What, what did Coach Rolovich tell you guys? I mean, they punched us in the mouth in the first half, and now it's time to get back up. You know, Coach Govies always says, if you're looking up, you can only go up. So, you know, just in the locker room telling us that what happened in the first half stays in the first half, you come out swinging, and I think we did, you know. There were some great things in the second half, but we just got to translate that to the first half. Got to come out all four quarters, like I said. What was it like to see Quinn Roth have have, have some success there in the second or, uh, second half, third quarter? Oh, I'm third, so third proud quarter. of him. You know, he works so hard. He's one of those guys that, you know, always is asking questions, always trying to get better. You know, I, I, I expected it. You know, he's a great kid, got a good head on his shoulders, and I think he's going to be awesome for us. So, I mean, had a great game, and, you know, we're going to see, you know, what he does from here. Thank you. All right, now next question, Cody from the Evergreen. Go ahead, Cody. Hey, Brennan. Uh, the defense did, you know, for, for everything that kind of went on, the defense did really well against the run, um, holding them to, you know, not very many yards on the ground. Um, what did you kind of see from uh, that unit and you guys uh, against the run? I mean, it's just swarm tackling, you know. You got to be stack monsters. You got to be able to come out and, you know, sprint to the football. So I think in those run plays, one guy gets there, maybe doesn't get him down, the whole D line, the whole front seven, you know, everyone's swarming to the ball. So they were getting a lot of, you know, yards after, uh, you know, contact. And I think that's a big thing that we worked on over the offseason. And coming to this game, like we're trying to build a culture of guys that go 100% to the whistle blows and maybe after that, too. So I think the run game defense just kind of shows how everyone's bought into, you know, finishing through plays.